I had no idea whether I was allowed to rev it. I got given the keys, I was told I could start it up. I had no idea whether I was allowed to rev it or not. And there were so many people just watching, filming. Uh, I don't know whether I did the right thing there, but anyway. That was awesome. How did Lamborghini get away with launching a new variant to the Lamborghini Huracan? convince people that have got 200,000 pounds to spend on a new supercar to buy this variant of the Hurricane over all of its competitors. And how do they make it better than the last one? Well, I'm in North Greenwich. The O2 is right there. And in front of me is this huge event space, which inside has a Lamborghini Hurricane Technica. And today I'm going to get my first glimpse of it. And there is so much to unpack in this video because when this car launched, I thought, here we go again. Lambo are at it again. Another new variant on a car that we have seen time and time again, but this time it's different. Now over the next three evenings this room is going to be filled with Lamborghini Huracan customers and people that have got the Technica on order. In that corner over there there is a customer specking room and right there is the car and at the moment I'm whispering because I don't want to ruin the audio on the car fiction video. These guys are masters at work. The last thing they want is my voice in the background. <laughs> This is absolutely mental and actually a lot louder in the background than I thought. They're setting up for the event later and I've got an hour with that car. And a bloody cherry picker has turned up to fiddle with some of the lights. Look at this guy. So I've come over to the specking area because the lighting is actually phenomenal. And you've got the London city skyline behind me. And we will start with the Hurricane Technica strap line. And forgive me, I'm reading this off my phone. In a world of virtual experiences, this car is designed to make the driver feel more connected than ever, not just to the car, but also to the tarmac, which is super cool. And basically what that means is the driver will be able to have just as much fun driving that to the track as he will have as much fun on the track which is a pretty cool thing to think about because this sits in between the Evo rear wheel drive and the Hurricane STO. Finally, the cherry picker has gone, which was incredibly loud, but let me get this right because the confusing Hurricane product life cycle means that this car is the road going version of the track version of the road evolution version of the track version of the LP610-4 that came out in 2014. You've got the Hurricane, you've got the Performante, then you've got the Evo, then you've got the STO, and now you have that. When you talk about it, it's incredibly confusing, but there are some really interesting top line stats that we will get onto on this car right now. Why not start side on looking at the side profile of the car? Because there is a really impressive stat that actually puts the McLarens to shame. Now McLaren bought back the long tail brand from the F1 GTR to the 675 LT. Now you would think that the 675 LT would be a long tail of the 650S. It was actually only three centimeters longer than the 650S, whereas this car is 6.1 centimeters longer than the Hurricane Evo, which makes this car more of a long tail than the actual McLaren long tail. Not only is this car rear wheel drive and has rear wheel steer, it is also the first rear wheel drive Lamborghini to have the LDVI system, which reacts immediately to driver inputs, tarmac changes, and fundamentally gives the best feedback to the driver from the driver driving seat, making this the most intelligent rear wheel drive Lamborghini ever built. How cool is the new exhaust exit on the Technica? It is synonymous with a hell of a lot of the Lamborghini design language at the moment. You can look at pretty much all modern Lamborghinis and see hexagons all over the car. But this car has got an all new exhaust system, which I cannot wait to hear. And what that means is a louder, more refined tone in the top end. But what Lamborghini have managed to do is make a more refined interior cabin noise. So in strata mode, you can cruise along and not feel like this car is barking at you. Now we have to take a quick look at this new wing and also this beautiful full carbon hood, which looks amazing, but also adds to what Lamborghini call next generation aerodynamic engineering and efficiency. And whilst this all looks beautiful, it is fully functional. Yep, that sees through to the engine bay right underneath the tail light. Now I have no idea what we're gonna be able to see underneath the car, but there is new aero deflectors underneath that completes the improved aerodynamic efficiency of the Technica. And whilst we can't get this up on a ramp, you can only imagine how smooth and clean this looks underneath. Here's what's mad. You might think that Lamborghini make too many crazy variants and special editions of the Hurricane, but let me remind you of the Gallardo era. From 2004 until 2013, they made 16 variants of the Gallardo and 25 special editions. Now, forgetting the Avio, which fundamentally is the only special edition from the Hurricane, we have had three new variants every two years from Lamborghini. That's including spiders and rear wheel drive variants. And what that means is Lamborghini are actually producing evolutions of the car. They are continually making it better rather than just spraying a car black 
with a white roof or whatever Lamborghini used to do with the Gallardo, they've actually improved this every single time. And then you gotta think, Lamborghini must have planned this product cycle. They must have known what's coming. So when they launched in 2014 with the Hurricane and was telling the world that this is the best thing ever, they would have known that this was coming. So how basic does the LP610-4 feel when you're driving that? The more I look at this car, the more I'm in love. This front end inspired by the Lamborghini Cyan and also the side profile and that six centimeter extension is inspired by the SC V12, my favorite track car and probably my favorite sounding car ever. Whenever I'm at a track day, I've got my ears to the ground waiting for that car to come out. <laughs> But let me get into the man maths and the main point of this video and why I come down to check this car out today. Because this car sits in the middle of the Evo rear wheel drive and the Hurricane STO. Now the Evo rear wheel drive, 165,000 pound plus options. The STO, 240,000 pound plus options. This is gonna be around 210, 212,000 pounds. But if you go to the used car market, an Evo rear wheel drive, a 2022 car done 500 miles used is 230,000 pounds. So you can add 20 grand's worth of optional extras, get this car to a purchase price of 230,000 pounds, take delivery of it, whether that's in six, 12, 18 months, who knows with new cars, but this will always sit above the Evo rear wheel drive. It is a better car, it is a higher model, it is a higher spec, therefore, that can't be 230 grand on the used car market if the Evo rear wheel drive is. Meaning if you can take delivery of one of them, it will always sit above that car. You've got six to 12 months of free motoring driving a brand new Lamborghini. It is safe to say we have to forget everything that we have known about the Hurricane right from the LP610-4. Eight years later, we have this car. And this is by far the greatest version. Yes, the STO is crazy, but on the road, this is so much more livable. This is the perfect car to enjoy driving to the track and then you get to the track and you can enjoy that just as much fun. So I will position myself in the specking room rear wheel drive for the win. You know Lamborghini love four wheel drive, but the fact that they have kept the rear wheel drive means that the LP580-2 that I bought was the start of something special with Lamborghini, which is also why the Valentino Balboni LP550-2 Gallardo is one of the best and will always be one of the greatest Lamborghinis ever. It has been a huge pleasure to check out the Hurricane Technica, learn a little bit more and then share this experience with you. But let me know what you think about the car. Let me know what you think about my man math behind buying one of these brand new and getting six to 12 months of free motoring, driving a brand new Lamborghini. I think that will exist. Yes, the used car market might crash in the next six months, but that car, 210 plus options, is gonna be an absolute bargain. If you can get that car into the UK and take delivery of it, you're gonna have one hell of a time. I cannot wait to have a go in it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon, take care, goodbye. I've just forgot, we haven't started it up yet.